guys, this is Pete Coriel with The Waterman's Guide. Today's how-to, I will be talking a little bit about how I set up my blue water float. Super important to have um, your blue water buoy set up properly. I mean, this will make or break landing a huge trophy fish. This is what stops your fish. There's a lot of pressure on these things, a lot of pressure on the gear. So you wanna make sure you, you use the right gear and you have everything set up correctly. So the first thing I do when I set up uh, a float for the blue water is I put a long line clip on the front of the buoy. In this case, I make sure to use a clip that has a swivel integrated into it. And I just use basically a series of shackles and clips to attach it to the front of the buoy. You don't necessarily need to use the exact clip setup as this. Basically, you want a long line clip with a swivel on it and a shackle. You know, make sure when you attach your shackles that you put Loctite on all the threaded ends just to make just to keep that from uh, coming undone. Another thing I do on the back end of my buoy is to attach another long line clip. Doesn't necessarily need to have a swivel on it. It's not as important. Um, I use the clip on the back side of the buoy um, typically to attach my gun to after I shoot a fish. So, you know, I'll shoot a big fish. You know, I'm using a breakaway setup so the fish takes off with the the shaft and the bungee and the float, and now I have the, the unloaded gun. So you can either put your arms through the bands of the gun as you pull and clip your fish up with your buoy so you don't lose the gun, um, but it can get in the way sometimes. So what I like to do is attach the gun to the back of the buoy with this extra long line clip, and I either clip off on the wishbones of the bands or if I have a loop of line on the butt of the gun. One more thing that I always attach to my, uh, my blue water buoys is a whistle. Always good to have one of these on you when you're hunting in the open ocean. I'm now going to show you guys the technique that we call pulling and clipping, which is a very important technique when hunting big pelagic fish in the blue water. You'll shoot your fish, fish runs. If it's a big tuna, typically they, first thing they do is they sound, they go basically towards the, the bottom and they'll stretch out your bungee or your float line and they'll come tight to your float and you, you hope they don't take your float and all your gear with them. So assuming that your, your gear is doing its job right and your float's holding your fish, um, you'll have a, a tight bungee or float line um, which is attached to your shooting line, which is attached to your shaft, which is stuck in a fish. Once you get situated and you're ready to start fighting your fish and trying to get it to the surface, you'll take your clip, your long line clip that has the swivel end of it that you've shackled to the end of your buoy, and you'll run your bungee or float line through the clip like so. And as you fight the fish, you can gain line on the fish by pulling, typically easing up on the long line clip and pulling your line through. You can play the fish a bit too. If the fish starts to run hard, this, will, this clip will actually let the line slip through, which is good, it's what you want. Um, you don't want it, your gear to be super tight. The fish makes a really hard run and you don't have enough gear out. Um, it could take all your float and all, its, all your gear with it. It's good that there's some play in the long line clip and that the line can slip through it. And you can, like I said, play the fish a bit. You can, you can pinch the line down to keep line from running out of the clip. You can release both hands and let the line slip back through the clip. Um, and basically you'll pull and clip all the way up to your shooting line, which will allow you to either go down and, and get a second shot or you know, then bring your fish up to the surface. 